Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing eight real and instant ways to look prettier. My how to look attractive video was such a hit that I decided to follow up with a pretty version where I share instant and real tips on how to look more feminine, flattering, and pretty. Let's make those boys swoon. But if you did wanna see my how to look more attractive video, I will link it directly down below because honestly, it is one of my all time favorite videos that I've ever done. If you are new to my channel, I make a lot of videos on real and practical ways to look better and more stylish. I would love for you to take two seconds and hit the subscribe button right down below. I mean, hey, you can always unsubscribe. I'm kind of banking on maybe you not wanting to, but it's always an option. Either way though, thanks so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy. The first trick that I wanna share with you guys is one of my all time favorites and it really makes a huge difference in your appearance. Some people are really fortunate and don't have this problem, but many people do, including myself. So the trick is to add eyeshadow to your hairline. Our hair is especially fine and thin right around the hairline and it's especially noticeable when you put your hair up. So a very simple and quick trick is to actually use eyeshadow to fill in those sparse areas. So for me, I have darker hair so I usually go for a darker eyeshadow. If you have blonde hair, then I suggest a light beige eyeshadow. You'd be surprised how much this really will work but you just play around with the colors until you find a good match. You will seriously be shocked at how much of a difference this makes in your appearance when you're wearing your hair up. You'll look prettier and more youthful in under 30 seconds. And bonus tip, if you have gray roots, you can use the eyeshadow to mask that as well. The second trick I have for you guys is to whiten your eyes. So when you look at somebody's eyes, you usually think about what color it is. Is it blue, green, brown, hazel? But what really makes those colors pop is the white around your eyes. The whiter that area is, the prettier your eyes look. So the long-term way to whiten your eyes is to eat healthier and to get more sleep. But the instant way is to hydrate your eyes with eye drops. This nourishes them, immediately reduces redness, and makes your eyes whiter. I have just the Visine Original Redness Reducer. You don't have to have this brand. It can be any form of eye drop. This is not sponsored by any means. Now you obviously have to follow the instructions and you cannot be using these eye drops every single day. Just do it every once in a while when your eyes feel extra dry or when you wanna look extra pretty and really make your eyes pop. The next trick is something that I know everyone is very aware of and that's that is exfoliating your skin. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. This is different. I know this isn't a new concept, but this specific tool is a new concept, at least to me. Again, not sponsored, I just freaking love this thing. Some people already use a personal microdermabrasion tool. A lot of them out there are really great, but I actually found this one on Amazon and it had amazing, amazing five-star reviews and so it really caught my attention. And so I started reading the reviews and I was really intrigued. So I ended up ordering it and I I am so impressed by it. You can use it for microdermabrasion. You can use it to actually suck out your whiteheads and your blackheads, and it really sucks. The suction on this thing is amazing. It really helps reduce the fine lines and the wrinkles. You actually see it like lifting up your skin. Until you try it, you really won't know what I'm talking about, but it does come with four different heads and you just change it out based on what you're looking for. It's really simple. You just recharge it and I love it. Afterwards, your skin is immediately so soft soft and smooth and it just really makes a big instant difference in your skin. Now I do recommend doing this before you go to bed so that you wake up prettier because it does leave your skin a little bit red. It's nothing too crazy. There's different settings for the device, but when you wake up, your skin really does feel refreshed. After you exfoliate your skin, you'll wanna do this next trick, which I have been doing for the last few years and I love it. I am obsessed with essential oils for so many reasons. I really, really could go on and on, but one of my my favorite ways to instantly improve my skin is to actually use this essential oil beauty serum. Again, this is 100% not sponsored. This is by Young Living and on the side, I do sell it. I really never talk about it because I feel like people get really weird about the whole like side business thing, selling things, but I just buy so many essential oils. It only made sense for me. I just incorporate this into my regular skincare routine and I just can't go without it anymore. It really improves the texture of my skin. It reduces acne, fine lines, redness, but it also smells 
amazing. I love using a diffuser every night before bed. I actually have one in my kitchen and I have one upstairs in my bedroom and my husband loves it. And we combine different essential oils and it's just kind of like a fun thing that we love to do. But if I do forget to do that, I feel like I have a little diffuser on my face because this seriously just smells so amazing. It is a blend of so many different things. It's coconut, avocado oil, blue cypress, rose hip, lavender, myrrh, sandalwood, the list goes on. So if you are interested in trying this or any other essential oils, I do have a website down below. Like I said, I don't really talk about it that much. If essential oils are something that you've always been curious about and you wanna try, I highly recommend Young Living's Starter Kit. You're not bound to anything at all, but it does come with like some of their best-selling oils, I believe 11 of them, along with a diffuser and some of their other really good products. If you do have any questions, I actually have a separate email address down below. You can just email me questions or whatever because I could talk about essential oils all day long. If you guys want me to do a separate video on all the ways I love using oils, let me know. I have no idea if anybody would ever be interested in seeing something like that. If that interests you, please comment down below. I actually wanna visually see if anyone is interested. If not, no worries. For the fifth trick, we are coming back to the eyes because in my opinion, your eyes and your lips are your pretty attributes. This trick makes your eyelashes naturally longer. Everybody loves long eyelashes. I do, I had eyelash extensions and I loved having them for the longest time, but I actually recently got rid of them and they ended up being pretty short right after they were removed. Everybody warned me about that and it was totally fine. Many of you recommended those lash boosters like the Rodin and Fields. There's many other versions as well. So I started researching this and time and time again, I kept seeing how castor oil is so good for your lashes and it naturally makes them longer very quickly too. So right after I got my eyelash extensions off, I started using just a simple little eyelash spoolie and every night before bed, I just dip it into the castor oil and I just coat my lashes. And I would say even within a week, I started to see a difference. You really can get castor oil like anywhere, but this is actually a version my mom gave me. It's just in a mason jar container and it's what I use. I love how it's natural, chemical free, and it produces results. As I mentioned just one minute ago, your eyes and your lips, again, in my opinion, are your prettiest attributes. So my next instant way to look prettier is to simply focus and enhance your lips while you're doing your makeup. Go easy on the rest of your makeup and then for your lips either go for a very bold lipstick or if you want to go nudie or beigey or more natural be sure to use a good lip liner to outline your lips now the little trick here is to not match your lip liner directly with your lipstick a lot of people want the colors to match but the secret is to make the lip liner a tad darker not too dark you don't want to look like a clown but ever so slightly darker will give the effect of plumper and fuller lips now if you do want to take it a step further put on a light color in the very center of your lips and that will really plump and enhance them. So most of this video has focused on our faces, but this next trick actually involves our whole body. The seventh trick is to not wear oversized clothing. Many people, when they feel unattractive or not pretty, their instinct is to hide themselves and wear really baggy clothing. But I personally think this just makes it way worse. If you want to look better, show off your figure and your curves, even if it's not perfect. Give your yourself some shape, I promise you a curve will always look so much better than a straight box. So pick either your top or your bottom and make that piece of clothing fit really, really well. I promise you, you will look better and prettier than just wearing huge oversized clothing all over. So for my eighth and final tip, I am ending with the oldest and simplest rule in the book. When you want to look instantly prettier, slap a smile on that face. Turn that frown upside down. But for real though, smiling really is the easiest and best trick. It makes the biggest difference in your appearance. It makes you look prettier, it makes you look more confident, it makes you look more approachable, and best of all, it just makes you happier. When you feel happy, you just look better. And I know it's not always easy to just be happy. It's so much easier said than done, but starting with a smile is always the first step. Alrighty guys, so those are my eight ways to instantly look prettier. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was interesting or helpful at all, I would love for you to hit the like button down below and also consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you guys have any other suggestions or tips on how to look more attractive or prettier, not that that's the most important thing in the world by any means, but we all love looking and feeling our best. So if you have an idea or suggestion, please comment it down below and perhaps I will feature it in a future video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.
Yeah. <laughs>